Hey guys, welcome back to another Beat Saber video. Today, we are going to be ranking all of the original soundtracks, starting from one to five. And uh, hopefully I get this out before they make a sixth one, but uh, yeah. Now, if you're wondering if I'm gonna be ranking the music packs, the answer is no, but I did make a video on that a while ago. You should go watch it. But uh, if you want to see an updated list, uh, here's my updated list of my rankings for the music packs. I'm not going to answer any questions on it, so uh, just make your assumptions of what I think. Now, if you're like me, you listen to these songs 24 seven, you know, you never take them off. Now remember, this is my opinion only, so that means these are all facts and uh, none of them are wrong. But anyways, let's get on with the ranking. I Original soundtrack two is a weird one because it feels like they just need to add more songs. So you just threw a few of these in there. And the songs in this pack are not bad at all. These songs are not bad. But compared to the other packs, I think these songs are weaker. Unlimited Power and Rum and Bass are definitely my favorites out of the bunch here because, you know, they actually sound really good and they're bops. This was also during the phase where uh, Beat Saber mapping was, uh, how do I say this, not good. Granted, this came out in like 2018, so I'm going to give them some leniency, but still, uh, the mapping, there's only five songs, which compared to other OSTs, you know, some I have more. Also, can I just complain about like the original soundtrack? I don't know why they're only putting in four to six songs per OST nowadays. Like what happened to like OST1? OST1, they had like 10 songs and they were all bops. But for some reason now they're like, oh, we have to do four to six. We can't give the people too much. They have to buy the rest. Anyways, highlights of this track are definitely Rum and Bass and Unlimited Power. Next one. <laughs> OST 3 was weird. I barely ever play this pack anymore, and honestly, none of the songs are very memorable. And Beats of Mapping got better, but it still wasn't great during this time period. This was when they started giving OSTs their own unique colors, and honestly, I do not like these colors. I think they are bad, and do not mix well. This was also one of the first OSTs where they really reached out for more people, and uh, got a lot more artists involved. Now don't get me wrong, this pack is still very good, I like it a lot, but compared to the others, just doesn't really compete as much. Highlights of this pack are Origins, Reason for Living, and Burning Sands. All right, let's go on to the next. <laughs> OST4 was definitely a weird one. I don't even remember Into the Dream. I think I played Into the Dream once because of how boring it was, but Spin Eternally and Ludicrous Plus, I really like. This is also one of the first packs that has a specifically made Camellia song, which is a bop. Spin Eternally is super good. I listen to that on max all day. It Takes Me, I like, but it, you, you gotta get to the good part of the song. It's one of those songs. Ludacris Plus uh, got my head bopping up and down in the car. Also, this is when the mapping got good in uh, Beat Saber OSTs are relatively good. And I like the colors they added. The colors in this pack were way better than OST3s, and the map was super cool. So OST4 gets the third place, yeah. Highlights in this pack are Spin Eternally and Ludacris Plus. Should I mention that I'm not ranking extras? Because ex extras does not count. Those are not, that's not original soundtrack. I hope you didn't think that was an original soundtrack. Amogus. OST1, baby. That's right, the first ever pack, and I still really think this pack holds up today. Besides the mapping, I think these are some of the best songs. They all fit the game super well. The only issue is there's not a lot of variety. They were all made by, like, a uh, Jarslav Beck, or as I call him, John B. Tabor. Now, even though these were all made by the same guy, they all do kind of have a different feeling, and I think that works really well. Legend is hands down one of my favorite Beat Saber songs ever, and Hundred Dollar Bills is a classic. You cannot deny that. Now, even though the mapping is still a little iffy in these maps, I feel like the songs hold up a lot, and it came with the most environments because, you know, it was like the start of the game. And honestly, just has like so many bangers. Like, I can't even think of one bad song in this pack. That's how good it is. Highlights in this pack include Escape, Legend, Country Rounds, Breezer, and Hundred Dollar Bills. And now for our number one, OST5. Who saw this coming? I'm sure quite a bit of you do. And uh, you may say I am biased, and yeah, I am. I like these songs a lot. These are all top tier songs, except for maybe Magic. But you know, still all a great pack. They really reached out to a variety of artists here, which makes this pack feel so different from the rest of them. I feel the rest of them, you can mix and match songs through most of them and like, all kind of sound relatively similar, but OST5 really sounds different. I mean, this is the second official Camellia song made for Beat Saber. Super Bop. They got the Living Tombstone, who everyone who knows me knows I want a Living Tombstone pack dedicated to just Living Tombstone songs because it's a bop. And it's just overall a super good pack. The mapping is super great in these packs too, like top tier mapping. They introduced a ton of new mechanics. This is when they got crazy with the lighting. This is when they added those little like wavy things. I forgot they're called. 
and the multi blocks, which personally I feel like the game could do without. But you know, I still like the I still like the pack a lot. Honestly, all the songs in this are Bob, and you know, I'm probably biased. You probably have different opinions, but OST five is I, I just come back and I replay the songs every time I go into Beat Saber. I just hope that OST six can hold up to OST five standards because that they it's got it right. Yeah, yeah please Beat Saber. Highlights in this pack are I Want to Be a Machine, Firestarter, Curtains, $1.78, and Final Boss Chan. Notice how I listed five of the six songs are highlights? Yeah! Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button, like, break the screen, like, grab it out of the screen, and rip it up, and then you gotta subscribe! Also, comment what your ranking is. I'm curious to know what you guys rank these packs. Am I wrong? Am I right? Uh, I'm right, definitely, but, you know, uh, this is the internet, so. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Wait, why is my character still here?